Saturday morning, race morning. Let's go. That's right, it is Saturday morning in San Diego, California, Escondido area at San Pasqual Staging Area. We are here with Elevation Culture doing my very first trail race, which happens to be the half marathon distance. Super excited about doing it. I have heard this is some of the funnest things to do. And of course, why not challenge ourselves a little bit? Now we were supposed to do this two weeks ago, unfortunately due to the weather, they changed the date. And let me tell you, it's very nice outside. I mean, it's below 40, so it's a little cold, but uh, should rise up in temperature pretty quickly. Super excited. We gotta go. We gotta get to the starting line. almost a mile two and uh yeah it's pretty nice i guess it's flat for about the first four miles which means flat for the last four miles so that's a win but that's our next adventure up and over First rocky downhill, it's kind of fun. Right, it was like nice fun downhill section. Just means we have to go back up since it's an out and back. But I will tell you, the run up to the top of the ridge, that's not gonna be fun going down. It's gonna be damn exciting. Let's get it. This trail racing is absolutely addicting. I see why people do this. Looks like we're coming into the turnaround. All right, we're checked in. Now we're gonna check out. Big thanks, everybody. Big thanks. Thank y'all, thank y'all. Thanks volunteers! Let me tell you, their energy, probably because they're not running, but they're all runners. It is awesome. So big thanks to everybody out there who volunteers. We greatly appreciate it. Definitely couldn't do these events without you. Thank you so much. All right, we are making the last descent. It's about a mile long. So we've gotten both of our climbs out of the way. And then it's flat ground for about four miles back in. So, yeah, sore as hell, and uh, running downhill really sucked, but it's fun. Let's get it. All right, so we got a little less than a mile left, Whew. and uh, I think my body hates me. And kind of safe to say it's one of those things where. You gotta tell your body, just 
go. You're almost there. And I guess it's okay to lie to yourself on that one because a mile's still a while to go. But if we can get around three hours, I'm pretty excited. Now note, this is not just your normal half marathon. It's actually a 14 mile loop. Well, seven mile out, seven mile back. So let's keep at it, we're almost there. Coming up to the finish line. I am absolutely exhausted. I'm super excited. Let's finish this off, we're almost there. We are finally home from our heavy half marathon, which was actually a 14 miles out and back. So seven miles out, seven miles back in with the Rapid Ridge climb, which was really, really fun to do, especially being a mountain biker. So being able to go down that on foot was kind of fun. Uh, I would say mountain biking absolutely helped because I do look a little bit further down the trail. So that was a big plus uh, for racing. Uh, as for how much fun was it, absolutely. I am completely beat up from the waist down. Muscles that I am not used to using and my legs are on fire. My ankles are on fire, but my knees don't hurt. So that's kind of a weird, uh, weird one for me. But I did talk to people and they did say uh, it's interesting in a lot of trail racing, your knees will take a little bit less than what they would on the road in the pavement, I guess, just for the harder ground that's out there. Uh, so I'm definitely happy about that. As for how I did, I'm still waiting on the live results. I can tell you I was not in the top three. I did this time stick around. As for how was the event, let's just put it this way. I've never done one of these, so I don't have anything to judge it off of. But the moment I got done, I was back on my phone looking for another race to attempt to do. I can tell you the crew over at Elevation Culture did a wonderful job. We'll drop a link in the description below for you guys so you can click on their website. So as for shoes, what did I run in on this trip? Was it an ASIC uh, that I normally run in? No, it was not. It was actually the Brooks Cascadia 16 trail shoe. So it did have really good uh, plates and rubber uh, things on the bottom here for traction. These did wonderful going down the hill in the wet and the very dry hard packed areas. Uh, flex when I needed them flex. And then of course they stayed nice and firm over the rocks. So I didn't roll an ankle. So I was super excited about these. I would definitely recommend these. They come in a lot of different colorways. I just like these. And of course from brand new white to dirty brown. Awesome shoe though. So besides just the heavy half marathon that we did, there's a lot of different venues you can do. There was the kids race that was out there, which of course we didn't get to see because we were just out running. There was a five mile race. There was the 10 mile out and back hill climb, which I'm guessing was pretty cool because you just ran up one side of the hill and ran back down. And they had special goodie bags for the first male and female to get to the top of that mountain. Then they had our heavy half again, 14 miles, seven miles out and back. They had a full marathon. That's gotta be rough. And then of course the SD 50. So the San Diego 50 that they did out there. Uh, I can tell you I was good done and in bed by the time some of those people finished that and kudos to those that went out and attempted such a hard feat. I know that maybe in the future I will throw something like that on my radar. I'm sure I will, let's be honest. I mean, I already have a marathon coming up soon and I just like to go for the bigger stuff and the fun stuff. But I can tell you just the heavy half marathon I did was absolutely worth it. I, like I said before, looking for another venue to jump. So one key to add to the video that I'm actually doing after everything was my running pace and just kind of something that I learned. Now watching YouTube, I've heard people say, don't go out of the box hot, keep a nice manageable running pace. And I remember starting thinking I'm going to keep up with everybody. And then I just remember hearing, nope, 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 slow back down, find your pace, you'll be good. And I did that. Now here's the added benefit of that. I found a pace that was slower than my average run pace was a lot faster than my walk pace, but it was manageable. Something I could use going up and down hills. Now, obviously going up the hills, I'm gonna go a little bit slower and going down the hills, I'm pretty much gonna go a lot faster, uh, more closer to my run pace. Now, why I bring this up is when I made my out and back and I was doing my turnaround, as people were passing me, uh, coming the opposite direction who were ahead of me, I noticed by looking at their faces, they were in a lot of pain and they were hurting. As I was going through there, I was smiling and thinking this was really, really fun at the time. So when I made the turnaround, I came back, I was like, wow, I don't feel that bad. And then I started catching up to people. Now, here was the big thing. I could have ran harder to get after them, but then I thought, nah, we're, we're good. So I just kept that pace, maintained it, and it was just passing one by one by one. Now, I obviously didn't make it to the top three, but I know that I didn't finish dead last. So that's a win there. 
Number two was when I did see somebody, I'd see them run, I'm like, wow, I can't run as fast as them, but I would notice all of a sudden they'd start walking. Now, we all know as long as your maintainable pace is a lot faster than your walk pace and is just off your running pace, if you keep that pace, you're gonna do a lot better than if you're doing run, walk, run, walk. Now, is it against run walking? Absolutely not. My last mile, I did have to walk for two minutes. I just was spent, I was out of it. In fact, my running pace was really, really slow, but nothing against it if that's what it takes. My point to this is though, if you manage your pace a little bit better to where you can alleviate those walking sections and, and bring it back down to that little bit slower pace where it's not your running pace, but you're gonna go a lot better and a lot faster. I wanna thank you guys for sticking around for another video, we greatly appreciate it. Remember to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, share the video, like the video, kinda of all the fun stuff pops up in that little circle guy right there. Uh, thank you guys for that. I did create a Patreon account. Now, there's absolutely zero added benefit to being a Patreon. All you would be doing is supporting the channel, helping us get to races, gear, so on and so forth. And of course, down the road, we will create that added but benefit and bonus for that. Uh, again, link down in the description below. If you just wanna hang out and watch the videos, like everybody else, feel free to. They're absolutely free to view and I enjoy making them. So thank you guys for that. Past that, a link to all the races are gonna be down below and you can see kind of where we're gonna be on the future races coming up. I do owe you guys a mountain bike video from the last race, that will be coming up. Unfortunately, I left all the equipment here uh, on my last trip. It was an early morning flight and I just came back and saw everything sitting right on the desk and said, damn. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Cheers.